<sighs> the Thark suns rise and set every day. Brother and sister attracted to one another, but never touching. But the energy between them, the attraction, strong. They dance in eternity in a circular motion that never ends and will never end in my lifetime. But I see them with their love in their eyes, but they never seem to change from day to day. As I wake, they give the heat that we need at night. They reflect onto the other moons that give us ambience and peace and the clarity of the night. We love the Thrak. And we love the energy that we feel from the night. But they're the Thrak suns burn again. Alone, silent, and deep within, feeling nothing, feeling everything, feeling to reach out. Time revolves around me. I am the center. And it begins to move faster, faster, and they become a, a plane, a flat plane of circular motion. And from every pore of that motion comes the light, streaming out, moving me out into the galaxy. And I move swiftly and I touch upon the edges of Zir and the crystals of Montal. And I move past them all into the colors of Kretsch. Moving on swiftly, I see Gelf and it draws me. And I move into the atmosphere of Gelf and down toward the orange and red clay in the valley of the Zin. I disperse a swarm of tin tunes that explode in all directions. And I reach the clay and begin to sink down. As I do, a Avondshire tries to suck my blood and it stings. And I am still sinking. But then I hear Yo-Yai. His voice calls me. And I begin to rise out of the sinking clay and I once again enter the atmosphere and I disperse the same swarm of tin tunes and they release their color trails in all directions and I come by a flintar winging its way and I see him as I leave the atmosphere yo -yai calls, and I must answer. And I am moving toward him, and I scrape against the skies of Zend, 
and there I hear his voice again. Yo yai, yo yai, and I return to my place, my silence, and my aloneness with Yo Yai by my side. And therefore I have traveled many distances and made the circle, and now it's fulfilled. Yo Yai, Yo Yai, be with me. Thank you. Who is Yo Yai? You will call him Yahweh. Ah. And what are tensions? Insects that are illuminated. Uh-huh. Please continue if you may. That was the same poem as I recited before with two small variations. I noticed the variations. Pardon? I did notice the variations. Yes, there was two small variations. Toward the end. I thought it would be more understandable with the variation. Thank you. I will be giving you some fourth dimensional energy. This might do several things for you. It is a specific fourth dimensional energy process. It will enable you to relieve pain with a thought process. The thought process must be engaged as follows. Mm-hmm. Rut recosh. Rut recosh. Remember those. Rut recosh. Enable that. Say them three times. Rut recosh. Rut recosh. And they will help eliminate pain. Also stimulate fourth dimensional energy to work on the gums. Thank you. That is all you need there for now because this will continue. I must leave. Thank you. Have a good day. Red Rikosh, remember. Red Rikosh. It means be as it should be. Good. You could actually say be as it should be as well. All right. But I must go now. Thank you.